And here's a uh, quick look at the dual G5 configuration with the GFC 500 and a uh, Grim and Tiger. You can see the uh, the G5s there. And panning over to the radio stack, the GFC 500 at the bottom. I'll try to do uh, a short video in the air as well. Uh, mainly focusing on the, the G5s, but here is the autopilot engage. If you want just the flight director, it would be here. Once you engage the autopilot, if you want to go to uh, heading select, you can push the heading button and that'll sync the uh, heading with whatever your current heading is. And then just push heading right here and then you're in the heading mode. At that point, you can use the, the knob right on the uh, DG, the lower G5, and uh, reset heading there. For altitude, same thing, just push the altitude select, and that'll synchronize the altitude with whatever your current is, and then select what mode you want, altitude hold, IAS, VNAV, or an approach, or vertical speed. Once you're in IAS, or... Uh, Vertical speed, you can use the wheel and uh, run that up and down for a higher lower speed or a higher or lower uh, descent or climb rate. And climbing out at about 2300, you can see the uh, green indications there that autopilot is engaged. We're in heading mode. IAS holding 109 knots right now. And you can see the ALTS is in white, indicating that the altitude is armed at 3000 feet, which you can see in blue right there. Here's our 200 feet alert. You can see it flashing, and we should see it go into the altitude hold mode. And there we are. All we have to do now is bring it back to cruise power. And we're cruising. Active indications are in green, and the armed modes are in white. And as you can see, as we accelerate, it's needing trim. It's lost the altitude just a little bit, but it'll bring it back. And there we are, 2,600 RPM, and uh, we're about 130 knots. That's what we expect. So as with all these autopilots, lots of ways to uh, do a descent. What I'm going to do is like 2,500 feet. I brought the power back and we're just going to go into the IAS mode here. about 110. That'll get us started down. There's our 200 foot warning. 
2500 starts flashing, telling us it's going to level up there. There we go, we're level. But now being a distracted pilot, I have for completely forgotten to add power. And of course at 1800 RPM here, we're not going to be able to uh, maintain level flight. So let's see what it does. I'm going to go ahead and trim it. Give it a chance to hold this altitude. Airspeed, airspeed. It's talking to us. Airspeed, airspeed. Airspeed, airspeed. Cessna, airspeed. November 296, ATO, taxiing from Tionics to Active Municipal Traffic. Look airspeed, at our altitude. Airspeed. Not going to let us go below airspeed, 75. Airspeed. It knows how high we are. It knows we have airspeed, ground under us. Airspeed. It won't do this down uh, right of, above the ground, but airspeed, up here airspeed. at altitude, it's not going to let you uh, stall the airplane. Airspeed. 